First off, I would want to just say how surprised I am for even being nominated for this category, but thank you so much KH20 for considering me. It's been really exciting and a huge learning experience for me with each mod I've worked on this past year, especially with my main releases of Rewrite, Rechart, and the KH3 Randomizer. Rewrite was my first attempt at creating a crowd control mod that the community could easily use. I remember sharing dev clips with my friends and being really excited when I had people try it out with their streams. It's okay, Water. This is why we're doing Yo, this, Yo, somebody just put me in wisdom form! Okay, that worked. That was sick! Wait, Water, you made it so it just happens? It's instant. Rechart was honestly such a huge undertaking, and I have Demo279 to thank for roping me into starting development for it in the first place. Uh, Rechart allows you to add custom charts into Melody and Memory. It also allows for decrypting the game files that then allow for honestly anything to be done with the game, stretching from basic texture or model replacement to PvP and custom lobbies. Uh, that's, that was something I wanted to try to do, but I just honestly don't have the time for it right now. And finally, probably what a lot of people know me for, uh, the KH3 Randomizer. Uh, this project at the beginning was the most fun I've had working on a mod, and I'm so happy with how far it has come since the initial idea. Critic Perfect has been the other half on making this mod a reality. Uh, with his work on the Garden of Assemblage and his UE4 knowledge. He honestly was probably one of the main reasons I stuck with the randomizer, so thank you, Critic. Uh, I want to just take a moment to thank a couple more people that supported and helped me so much this past year. First and foremost, Preferred Whale 6. Without her, none of these mods would exist. The uh, amount of time she made for me to spend night after night digging into files to essentially reverse engineer parts of both Melody of Memory and Kingdom Hearts 3 is very unfair to her, but I appreciated it so much. She supported and encouraged me to keep going when it got really tough as well. So thank you, Whale. Firox is also someone that helped me by pushing me to even release any mods in the first place. He also promoted me and my mods and also playtested and gave me ideas for things. He's always also been a huge inspiration for me, and he's been the best brother I could ask for, and he's doing an insane amount of work while also being a new dad. Kimchi was an amazing designer to work with, and Mr. Matthews made the best icons and logos I could think of on all of my projects. Um, any of the, many of my projects that did would not look as amazing as they do without the insane amount of creativity and hard work they both gave into all of these projects. Finally, I had so many friends as well testing and giving feedback for all three projects, and I just want to quickly list their names because um, I don't want to you know, take up everybody's day or too much time. Uh, Tatsumaki, Lands of Masters, Shibui Gato, Endofin, Lyman, Violin, and last and far from least, Mike and Jason from the Super Spaghetti Bros. Uh, we also have a weekly podcast called the Answer Report Podcast. Please listen on any streaming platform or on their YouTube channel. Uh, and thank you once again to Cage20 for making this event possible and also for this Million Dreams Award.